Okay, we're at NAM 2012 and we're going to show here our new product. This is called the NEOS from SPL. And we're pretty excited about this. Where this came from is basically we make a 16 by 2 summing device. Uh, our summing mixer, which we sell a lot of, they call the Mixtream. It's 16 in, 2 out, 60 volt rail. Everything that we make for our mastering consoles, our upper end stuff, uh, stuff that we do for Bob Ludwig and Howie Weinberg and all that, all of that is at 120 volt technology. By using higher voltage, we can get better performance out of this stuff. But you also have to really know what you're doing. We've invented a thing called super op amps, which are a huge part of what we do. But bottom line is, this is the world's first 120 volt summing mixer with Pan pods, for, I got pan pods, and you got faders. Because people used to say to us when we did the first mix stream, gee, it's great, but I wish we had faders and pan pods. And we said, if we're going to do that, we might as well make a console. Well, we thought about it and decided if we're going to, we're going to go 120 volt like our mastering stuff. So we've got a 120 volt, 24 channel summing device, and it also is a monitoring console. What's nice is, so you've got, oh, these are all stereo faders. So these are all stereo channels. But if you want to go mono, you just pop in the mono button. And that's all you do. And then you can send things to just monitor only. So if you're monitoring in a couple of channels in your DAW, whatever, you can simply send it to, to the uh, mono only and take it out of the record bus. So, you, you know, you've got choices on how you're going to do that. But the bottom line is 120 volt rail of 24 channels of summing, and the noise floor is ridiculously low. It's the lowest we've ever seen, and the headroom from 120 volt is absolutely outrageous. And those are the two pluses. That's what Bob Ludwig loves about our 120 volt technology. Howie Weinberg was just in here raving about the 120 volt technology. So we're really pleased with it. It's great stuff. Not everybody knows how to do it. We're proud to say. We conquered that a while ago, and we, it's uh, kind of the pinnacle of what we do. So if we want now, we'll come around the backside, and I'll show you what the connectivity is and the inskis and outskis on this baby. So on the backside, let's talk about how we're getting into this thing. Obviously, when you're dealing with multiple channels, it's always nice to do the balanced DB25. So for all the inputs for the 24 channels, you see we have three B DB25s coming in. Now, in terms of other connectivities, we also have a master insert, uh, send and return on the master, and then we've got external metering. So if you have any external metering that you would like to use, right here is the output, XLR is out to give your metering. Then also we have a slave out. Now, what's nice is you can slave these together and daisy chain them and do as many as you want. So there's an unlimited amount of channels that you can do on this thing. And what also is nice is then you have a variety of, of outs. Here's your record out, your stereo record out. Then you have, of course, your tape return here. Then you've got monitor A, monitor B, and an alternate out. So we give you a lot of ins and outs keys. You know, obviously it's always stereo out because at the end of the day, this is a summing device. You don't have 24 out. You have stereo out um, for any summing device. But it's, it's a marvelous sounding unit, man.